Hey guys, Todd from COSN coming at you again today. So uh, I had a bunch of subscribers write into me and, and ask me about the pack that I carry, specifically this one. I, I've actually got, and as you can see here, three different types of packs. I've got one set up for hiking, bushcraft. I've got another one set up for search and rescue missions, and then another one set up for bugging out. So this one right here is pretty much my bushcraft kind of hiking pack. And you'll see me carrying it quite a bit, even on day hikes, things like that. I'm kind of a, a big believer on, you know, carrying what you're gonna what you're gonna have most of the time. And I was like, oh, I never really thought about doing a review on it, or you know, maybe a review of a loadout. Uh, there's lots of them on YouTube, lots of stuff out there. But uh, you know, I'm always interested in what people are carrying and see what they use. Now I know there's a huge line of backpacks out there, great backpacks, Everly Stock, uh, Oregon Packworks. I mean, there's just a huge line of great backpacks, and um, you know, I I can spend some money on gear for sure, and I do. But when it comes to buying those type of backpacks, and don't get me wrong, I'd love to have one, but dropping 400 bucks or $800 for a backpack. I just can't see myself doing that. Um, so I put together stuff that works. It's comfortable to me, um, you know, and people could be like, oh, well, you know, it's the most comfort in the world. Well, you know, when I first started, well, not really when I first started, but you know, when I got into the Marines way back when, they handed us an Alice pack and we started hiking eight miles, 12 miles, 14 miles, 18 miles with an Alice pack, full gear, ammunition, guns, and you just, you did it, you know? And I know you wanna be comfortable when you're out hiking and looking at scenes and stuff like that. And, and that's okay, I get it, I totally get it. But if I could put something together that's pretty cheap and it is, for the most part, comfortable for me, you know what? I just saved myself quite a bit of money. So I'm going to go over this pack and maybe just a little bit of the contents, not really big in detail. I don't want to make a huge video, but I'm going to go over a little bit of the contents after I go over the pack. So let's get started. Okay. Like I said, this is pretty simple. Um, this is basically a hideaway, uh, frame, basically meat frame pack, or they can call it an expedition pack. And I got this one at a garage sale, but I know they go in, you know, your local stores for probably about 50 bucks. You could probably find them on sale, maybe even cheaper. Um, not a, a high quality pack, but I haven't broke it. I haven't busted it. Nothing's, you know, really gone out on me and I've carried it a lot. So it's actually worked out really well. I got it for like 15 bucks, like I said, a garage sale and um, you can get them for roughly about 50 at a regular store it's got really nice heavy duty padding you know it's made to carry weight i really like an external frame and a lot of people like internals and there's nothing wrong with that i have our internal frame packs this is an external i really like it because i can strap everything to it and it doesn't have to be in a certain order i could put it in the order that i want it to be in so that's the the frame of this pack and as far as the compartments uh, basically i really like it because i put my sleeping bag on the bottom it fits winter summer uh, also if i'm doing hammock camping all that stuff can go right here i basically use a military and it you know cheap wise i found it five bucks surplus it's just a waterproof for my sleeping bag everything goes in there um, also the main compartment this is an alice pack large and i got this at a surplus i don't know i've got several of them but i think it was like 25 bucks for an alice pack large and so I just put that on there. And really all I did was just tie it in and add some tied in ties, tie ons already. And then I just added a basic belt to the top so that it, it holds all the weight up here on top. So, and this is adjustable. I can go in and out with it if I wanted to, but it's perfect the way I have it set up. And then on top, of course, I just carry extras, um, pad for seat, isomat and uh so you know my wool my new wool hoodie which i really really like and it's a good addition to my pack um and as far as compartments everybody talks about compartments alice pack is great you know i carry a, a cooking kit here cordage cutting tools and then in the lid fire so i've got everything i need right on the outside and right away. And then I can get in the main compartment and get other supplies. So I'm gonna lay some stuff out real quick and show you kind of what I pack. 
All right, guys, I'm going to turn and burn to this. Um, some of this you've probably already seen before, and if you haven't, uh, go ahead and write me in the comment block, and I will answer your questions. So let's get started. So very first thing, there's a thermal rest mat here that I use for sleeping. Also, I have an ISO mat that I use for sitting. I do carry a pillow. That's my, my comfort there. I have what I like to call my snivel gear and a cinch sack. This is actually really compressed. It has everything from my long johns, gloves, stocking hat, uh, extra baklava, has everything I need in here for cold weather. Also, of course, carry the cloth bandana. This is actually a bigger piece of cloth. There's a lot of uses for this, a lot of good videos out there on that. I suggest watching them. Um, I always carry leather gloves for working. Uh, fire starting kit, I always have everything pretty well put into kits. Um, I have ferro rod, matches, lighter, uh, fire extra fire starter cotton balls is kind of my go-to that works really well and I have everything basically in a fire starting kit sunglasses sunglass case so I don't destroy them and you've seen uh, if you haven't my video on my wool blanket hoodie which I carry for basically my jacket and then I have my cutting tools uh, this is what I carry in this pack and it does vary between packs like I mentioned earlier I have several different ones but this is my bushcraft and hiking pack so I have of course the Mora bushcraft series I really really like that knife um, I have the saw this is the Corona oops sorry that's the Corona and I also, instead of carrying an axe, I like carrying a tomahawk, and you've probably seen it in a lot of my videos. This one is the Pipe Hawk by Cold Steel. Love that guy. And I do carry a file to sharpen it. Um, this is a new thing I picked up. Uh, this is from Primal Gear Unlimited. It's got a really interesting blade design on that. And I haven't had a lot of time to get out and try it. So once I do, I will go over this knife in detail. But it's a very nice knife you can see it in this picture also here and i uh, can't wait to get out and use it more of course got a headlamp uh, i do have a compass i like the military style probably know why uh, cooking kit basically consists of two water bottles and also of course the stanley and you know canteen cup uh, this is just kind of a bag full of goodies uh, medicine different things out in the field you might run into you need ibuprofen tick repellent mosquito repellent all that good stuff this is my first aid kit um, it may be a little bit bigger than most but i really like it i got a lot of good stuff that uh, i've added to it throughout the years this is my just my food bag keeps it all together um, this actually goes in there i found it in a different piece but this is actually this might find this interesting is I took a bunch of test tubes and I put spices in there for cooking you know fish whatever whatever you got but I put a bunch in there for cooking that goes into my my cooking bag or food bag if you will I do have you know something to write with just in case if I do want to take notes on stuff usually I have a different book this is a write in the rain um, as far as water purification, of course, everybody, a lot of people go with the Sawyer. I really like it. It works well. I have a Sawyer Mini in there, Squeeze. Uh, my main that I use all the time is my MSR pump. And, of course, I have a water collection bag underneath that. Uh, I have a Kelty 9-foot tarp. Of course, cordage. You know, got to have cordage, 36, uh, number 36 bank lines, some 550 duct tape. And a lot of things, times, nobody shows it, but of course, toilet paper. I think I even have, yep, even more toilet paper. Got to have toilet paper. Um, and in the bag, actually, there's not a whole lot of stuff, but I should probably get rid of the bag. Uh, I do carry zip ties for quick repairs. Of course, carry a drum liner, a 55-gallon drum liner. Comes in handy for a lot of different things. Got a repair kit in here that has about 62 different items inside there. Actually, I make that one. Uh, extra shoelaces. I have found that I've, when I break my shoelaces, I you know it's nice to have backups. Yeah, you can use 550 or bank line, but I like having an extra pair of laces. Backup flashlight, nothing special. Sharpener, and then I have some backup batteries inside here with a whistle. And that pretty much covers everything except for the sleeping bag that I still have on the pack. 
Um, and that's basically your military uh, style sleeping bag, your MSS, or there's another one that they that comes out with it, kind of like the Wiggies bag too. But basically on my sleeping bag, if you want to see more detail, I can show you that in, in a later video. Um, I do have, if you guys seen, a shovel and a pick on the pack. It does add to weight. That's for kind of a special use um, when I go out and do a project um, and it requires maybe some shoveling or some actual dirt removal, I carry that on my pack. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, comments, anything like that, go ahead and throw them down there. Good, bad, ugly, I don't care. This is what I carry. Um, I know it's pretty simple, but this is what I found that this is pretty much all I need. And surprisingly enough, this in the backpack actually weighs 50 pounds without water. So that's it's a good amount and uh, I'm used to carrying it. Thank you guys for watching and everything you do for me.